Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome to Claudia God Worship Hour. Hallelujah. Nice connecting. Thank you for joining in with me. Praise the Lord. I trust the Lord you're doing well. Hallelujah. God is good. He's faithful. This is the day he has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, we're just here to honor God and give him glory and praise. Hallelujah. And I'm glad that you're here with me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to get right into worshiping our Lord and our God, our Savior, our healer, our fortress, our shield, our banner, our provider. Hallelujah. 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 Just get your heart ready. Praise the Lord. But before then, I want to just encourage us with a scripture I have here um, on how, why and how we should honor God and who he is to us. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. 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 So I'm reading from Psalm 68. I'm reading verse four. It says, Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Exalt him who rides on the clouds. His name is the Lord and celebrate before him. God is in his holy dwelling. God in his holy dwelling is a father of the fatherless and a champion of widows. Praise the Lord. Our God cares. He does care for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God provides home for those who are deserted. So if you are in that situation, you're, you're in the right place. You're with the right one, most importantly. Hallelujah. He says in verse uh, six, it says, he leads out the prisoners to prosperity. Hallelujah. That's the God we serve. You are a good God. You are a loving father. We love you, Jesus. We praise you. We bless you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. He says he leads out the prisoners to prosperity. That's the mind. That's the heart of our father, our king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is well with you. Be comforted in the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to his holy name. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. 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 You ready? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I will give you all my worship. And I will give you all my praise. Because you alone I long to worship. And you alone are worthy of my praise. And I will give you all my worship. And I will give you all my praise. Because you alone I long to worship. And you alone are worthy of my praise. All of my you praise, all of my you worship, all of the honor, your majesty and grace. Oh, all of my praise, all of my worship, all of the honor, your majesty and grace. Oh, I will give you all my worship, and I will give you all my praise because you alone i long to worship and you alone are worthy of my praise amen hallelujah glory to the lord on high worship you lord we love you jesus we praise you we praise you we praise you we bless your holy name amen 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 what a beautiful name it is, what a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ our King. What a beautiful name it is, nothing compares to Him. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. And what a wonderful name it is, what a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ our King. What a wonderful name it is, nothing compares to Him. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amazing love, how can it be? That you, my King, will die for me. Amazing love, I know it's true. 
It's my joy to honor you in all I do. I honor you. Amazing love, how can it be that you, my king, will die for me? Amazing love, I know it's true. It's my joy to honor you in all I do. I honor you. Amen. Yes, we honor him. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Oh, yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you. We're here to just honor you and praise you and thank you for yet another day, for your goodness, your kindness, your favor, your love, your provision, your mercy, your grace, your compassion. Lord, our trust is in you. Our confidence is in you. Our rest is in you. Our strength is in you. Our victory is in you. Our purpose is in you. Our joy is in you. Our laughter is in you. Our hope is in you. You are King of kings. You are Lord of lords. You are mighty God. You are everlasting Father. You are eternal rock of ages. You are King of glory. You are Prince of peace who can be compared to you our soon coming king we honor you we praise you you are so worthy of our praise today of all glory today of all honor today of all adoration today you are so faithful Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we magnify you. We magnify in our lives. We magnify in our thoughts. We magnify in our choices. We magnify in our lives. We magnify in our circumstances. There is no God like you in all the earth. We exalt you, O oh God. We love you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. You are the great and mighty God. There is no one like you. We thank you for all your goodness. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your grace. We we love you, Lord. We bless your holy name. We bow before you. We reverence you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Precious brother and sister, this is your moment. I'll be happy to pray with you, whatever it is. The word of God says, cast your cares on the Lord. Hallelujah. Very simple. Cast your cares. The Lord wants us to find our rest in him. He wants us to find our confidence. Our con he wants us to put our confidence in him. He wants us to trust in him. He doesn't want us to lean on our understanding. He doesn't want us to walk by the things we see and how we feel and our emotions and all of that. One, he wants us to walk by the truth of his word and his promises. His promises endure forever. He says those heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will remain. Hallelujah. His word is powerful. If you can believe on it, if you can hold on to it, this is not just a nice thing to say. This is the truth. There's no greater truth than this. The things that we see in our eyes that transcend, they will come and pass, but the word of God will remain forever. You want to, you, we, I know that in our human nature, we're used to being focused on things that we see that look real to us. But I'm telling you, there's no greater power than the power of the word of God. The word was there at the beginning. The word created everything. It's the same word that is creating for us today in our circumstances. If you know how to work the word, if you know how to connect with the word, Oftentimes, we're so in the flesh that we don't know how to connect with God in the spirit. And sometimes we may not get our answers, right? We get you, right? But if you know how to walk, align yourself with the word of God. Align yourself with the word of God. Mm. Trust in the word of God. Put your mind on him. Hallelujah. And wait patiently. Sometimes patience is like our greatest enemy. We want to see it right, right now. But trust me, if you believe that God loves you, you know he got your back. Even though you might feel uncomfortable, you know that eventually he's going to come through. He's going to come through in his own timing. Hallelujah. He said, Lord, don't you see that I'm suffering? I know. I felt that way before. Lord, can't you see that I'm suffering? Can't you see? I mean, don't you see this is urgent? And I, I, one thing I can tell you, though, I don't, li I don't like to feel that way. But I, 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 le well, let me tell you one thing I can tell you. God will keep you th through, through that difficult time. It's uncomfortable. Yes, it is uncomfortable. But God will keep you. Somehow he will preserve you. He will preserve you and he will perfect you. And then when he brings you that resolution, that answer, you'll be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And your joy will be full. Your joy will be full. And he says, ask me so that your joy, and I will come through for you so that your joy will be full. When God brings you that desire of your heart, you'll be overwhelmed. 
you'll be overwhelmed. And many times you can look back and say, oh, I see why it was withheld at that time. And then, but then you would have learned that through difficulty, God will keep you, will preserve you. Hallelujah. We, in our minds, we are always like, answer, 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 answer. We want the answers, right? But God is looking for faith. For us, our problems being solved please us, but for God, faith pleases him. That's another thing the Lord has shown me personally. So while you're feeling uncomfortable, but you're holding on to God and just honoring him and worshiping him like we're doing, you're pleasing God. God is endorsing. That's his check, check, check mark. Does that make sense? So faith, faith pleases God. We just want our problem solved. And guess what? Even God uh, uh, takes care of that list for you. There's going to be another list. <laughs> God has helped me cross out so many things on my list, but as long as we're alive, we're going to have needs and things that we reach out to God. So at the time I had to stop and say, Hey, you know what? The needs are, are they're recurrent. They're all, they, they keep coming, right? But God is constant. So what is the bigger picture? I, did, I had to step back and say, you know, what's the bigger picture? That's, that's how I was able to, I was able to figure out that faith is the, our dependency on God is the bigger picture. That's what pleases him without faith. It's impossible to please God. So even in adversity, not saying, not, not thinking that God loves me, why won't he come through? Yes, he loves you. And he will come through in his own timing. We don't always understand why, how that works. I, I know that, trust me, as a human being, right? But I, I, I found out that the most important thing to do is honor God, even in adversity. Hold on to him, right? Don't grumble, don't complain. Live in holiness. If you want to, from my experience, I'm going to talk from my experience. If you want to see your answers come through, stay in the word of God, okay? Stay in the word of God, maintain an attitude of worship, and stay in holiness. Stay in holiness. You're going to get your breakthrough faster. That's my experience, right? Stay in holiness, right? That's how it's worked for me. Holiness, continue to confess the word of God, keep a good attitude, celebrate God, worship him even when you're uncomfortable. And I'm telling you to hasten the results you want so that's that's what i've discovered hallelujah i know when we look at, at the scriptures we see that god he it's you see a pattern like that too with the people that walk to the lord right when they grumbled and complained it took them for it would take them forever to get their breakthrough but when they worship god the the the, the, the glory comes down the blessings come down and 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 many people of god have had to wait and be patient you know, I don't always, sometimes I know why God wants us to be patient. Sometimes I don't really know, but he's God. <laughs> he's God. And I know, I just trust him and I trust that it's working out for my good. Even though I feel, my flesh might not like it, right? I'll be, sometimes you're so uncomfortable. You just want that answer right away. You want that relief. But I'm telling you, in God's eye, some things are more important than some other things. He, I, but, but it doesn't mean he doesn't care for you. We care for our flesh. We want to cater to our flesh. But get, God cares for our soul, that we're maturing our soul. And our dip, that we're, we're, our dependence on him is strong, is solid. Our spirit is strong. Our soul is strong in him. And we're, we're well grounded. So sometimes we might go through rigorous uh, pathways to strengthen us in our spirit. Because at the end of the day, that's what counts. All the things we want, all our prayer requests will come and pass. Right? But that we've established that confidence in God. That's what matters to the Lord. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's well with you. I want God to come through for you right, right now, right? But we're going to trust God. We're going to believe for now. But if the Lord says, wait a little bit, just apply these things I told you. It worked for me and I'm sure it will work for you. I believe that that's God's, God's heartbeat. Go and search the scriptures too. Hallelujah. It is well with you. So right now, just bring this prayer request to God. Okay. We're just going to table it to him. And so we surrender to him. Okay. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for my brother and sister. I just thank you for this great time that we're here. Just um, fellowship in your presence, Lord. And I, I thank you. I thank you for ordering their steps, helping them and uh, causing them to connect with me. I know that you have designed and separated at this time. For your glory's sake, Lord, and so I pray that you meet their need, every need. Lord, you know the struggles, you know the challenges, you know the difficulties, you know exactly where they're at. I might not know the details of their life, but you do. You are God Almighty. You see, nothing is hidden before you. Lord, you said you are the father to the fatherless and the husband to the widow. And Father, that you are the one, you are sustenance. We read in the scripture, you say you, you, you said you, you provide for the ones in prison. Lord, I pray that you make a way for them in the name of Jesus. If they're in prison in concerning their health, Lord, deliver them in Jesus' name. You sent your word and you healed. 
and you heal their desired diseases. Lord, you, you, that's what you said in your word. Heal them, Lord. Touch them. Make them whole. And rebuke sickness from their body because it's not your will. Because you nailed it on the cross. Lord, I thank you that they will live in the fullness of health for which you died on the cross for them. Make them whole. Strengthen them in their minds, in their bodies, oh God. Wherever it's hurting, Lord, bring relief. Heal them. Bring the miracle, oh God. Change the doctor's report. Show your power. Show your glory. I curse every fever. I curse every infirmity. I curse cancer. I curse any infirmity. Every, every affliction of the enemy. I curse in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I command you be loosed in Jesus' name. Be loosed in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Name above all names. At the name of Jesus, every knee bows in Jesus' name. Show your power, God. Show your glory, your mighty hand. Turn that situation around. You raise Lazarus from the dead. Nothing shall be impossible with you. For those who trust in you, oh God, our confidence is in you. Not in our ability, not in anything else, oh God. But your name, the name above all names. Lord, relieve them of, of that discomfort. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, that you hear us. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, I pray in the area of their finance, remember them. Remember them, oh God. Father, even through this pandemic, people are, people, different people are suffering different things. They're in lack. And they're, they've lost their jobs. Lord, remember them. Make a way. Open doors. Favor them. Give them a job, oh God. Hear their prayer. Hear their cry. Make a way. Send someone to bless them. For those in urgent situations, make a way. Make a way. Make a way. You are God of impossibilities. You are God of the universe. There's, no, there's nothing you can do, oh God. You fed the 5,000, oh God, miraculously, there's nothing you can do. Father, remember them, visit them in their, in their situation. Lord, if anyone is dealing with fear, oh God, in, in, concerning the environment, they're in a, a hostile environment, I pray for your hedge of protection over them. Keep them, preserve them, shield them, oh God, according to your word. Be a shield around them. Send your angels to protect their neighborhood, oh God. Protect them, keep them, preserve them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we will not be afraid. Our confidence is in you. Our trust is in you. Our strength is in you. It is well with you. You said you would give your angels charge over us. Over us. Hallelujah. You hide us under the shadow of your wings. Father, help them to feel your presence. Give them peace. Not fear, not anxiety, not worry, not fretting. Give them peace. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, if anyone is struggling, they are marriage, oh God. I know the enemy has been against marriages. Lord, I pray for your intervention as we stand in agreement. Remember them. Visit them. Bring about a calm in that marriage. Bring about peace. Let love reign in the name of Jesus. Let there be the fear of you. Let the husband know you. Let the wife know you. Let them be fervent. In their, in their walk with you, O oh God. Let them have respect for one another, O oh God. Let love thrive. Let there be understanding, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, let there be unity according to your word. Lord, if, they are, if it's a fruit of the womb that is an is a issue, Lord, bless them, bless them, bless them. Make this woman a, a, a beautiful, healthy mother to be in Jesus' name. Perfect that pregnancy in Jesus' name. Give her rejoicing in her soul. Oh Lord, plant the seed, oh God, of a baby into her womb. Grant her her heart's desire in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Those who are standing in the for their children in some kind of affliction, waywardness, or any habit, ungodly habit, or association. I break the power of sin of that child's life in the name of Jesus. I break the power of the enemy of that child's life in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I release that child to serve you, O oh God, with diligence in the name of Jesus. I speak soundness of mind for that child, that that child is aligned with your word and your will and your purposes for their future, for their life in Jesus' name. That that child will not go to the left or the right. They will not listen to the voice of the stranger, but your voice, O oh God. You will keep wicked and unreasonable people from them. I call them out of darkness into your marvelous light. O oh Lord, that I may give glory to you, O oh God. I speak a spirit of reconciliation upon that family in the name of Jesus. Anyone standing in a gap for a family, a friend, Lord, I pray that you remember them. Lord, bless your heart, oh God, and bless that one. Turn that situation around, oh God, that they are standing in a gap for. Turn it around, bring about a breakthrough. Make a way, oh God. Remember that one, oh God, in the affliction. Deliver them, show them mercy in Jesus' name. Father, if anyone is needing promotion and job, bless them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And if anyone is needing intervention in any situation, make a way, level the mountain, bring about a breakthrough, show your power, show your glory, oh God, comfort them in the affliction, in the name of Jesus, turn that situation around. In Jesus' name. Lord, if anyone is wavering in their spirituality, oh Lord, they're saying they want to be solid in you. Strengthen them, perfect them, oh God. Cause them to be well grounded. Help them not to listen to the voice of a stranger. Cause them to be attuned to your voice and know your will, oh God, in Jesus' name. Perfect them, oh God, in Jesus' name. Strengthen them in your love, oh God. Help them not to give up. Help them not to cave in. Help them to be strong in you. To resist evil and choose good, oh God. Not to walk by their flesh, but to walk by your spirit. In the name of Jesus, show your mighty hand in their life life, oh God. Let them feel your presence, oh God. 
Let them feel your love, oh God. Embrace them with your love. Show your power, oh God. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, oh God, whatever that situation is there, they need business uh, ideas, strategies. Father, whatever it is, it's a court case, it's an exam, whatever situation it is, oh God, it's a land dispute, whatever it is, oh God, it's an issue with their, their landlord, Lord, make a way, intervene, remember them, hear their cry, come through for them, show them mercy. Lord, your word says if to agree on anything would be established. Even as I stand in agreement, Lord, come through for them. Show your power, your mighty hand, oh God. Show them, show us all mercy, oh God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, if, if my brother and sister, they don't know you, Lord, I pray that you receive them into your kingdom. If you're the one, you don't know the Lord, I'll be happy to pray with you. It's just a very simple prayer, but you have to mean it with your heart. You have to know that you want to come to the Lord wholeheartedly. There's nothing in this, to this world anyways. All these things will pass away. And then you become answerable to God. At the end of your life. So make the best decision. It's better than being married. It's better than being having a billion dollars. It's better than anything. Make the decision to walk with the Lord. Know Jesus. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I'm going to lead in a very simple prayer. Just say, dear Jesus, forgive me for all my sins. Forgive me for going my own way. I repent. I repent, Lord. I'm sorry. Receive me into your kingdom. I decree right now that you are my Lord and my personal Savior. You are my master. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. And then you're raised after three days. And you're seated at the right hand of God the Father. And I'm seated with you, Jesus, in heavenly places. Thank you for admitting me into your kingdom. You alone are God in my life. I denounce the kingdom of darkness. I surrender to your lordship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. There's celebration in heaven over this decision you made. God bless you. And the Lord will be with you. Lord, I pray that you fill them with your spirit. Empower them with your spirit and keep them, Lord. Keep them from falling. Strengthen them in your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. And bless them. Bless them, Lord. Bless them in every area of their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Praise. We love you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining in with me. I had a great time connecting with you. Hallelujah. And the Lord will meet you at a point of need. And he will, he will come through for you. He will hear you. He will give you grace to walk with him. And grace to walk in patience if that's your situation. If it's a situation where you have to learn patience, the Lord will give you the grace. He does. He does. Hallelujah. I love you. God loves you very much. You're precious to him. It is well with you. Stay, stay fervent in the Lord, okay? And I'll, I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye-bye.